The next series of slides represent examples of leukemias. I would like to remind you that leukemias are neoplasms of hematopoietic stem cells that arise in the bone marrow and can travel through the blood to other organs. Problems arise when the leukemia cells replace the normal hematopoietic cells of the bone marrow. Indeed, leukemia patients often present with anemia because of a lack of erythrocytes or bleeding disorders because of a lack of platelets. Now, the diagnosis of leukemia requires that a biopsy of the bone marrow be taken. As shown here, needle biopsies are most often taken from the crest of the hip bone in adults that still retains hematopoietically active bone marrow, also known as red bone marrow. Now, this slide shows a well-preserved section of normal bone marrow. There are several features that I would like you to note. First, the cellularity is approximately 50%. That is, the hematopoietically active component represents about 50% of the section, while adipose tissue represents the remaining 50%. Now, the adipocytes are simply empty spaces here because the fat have been extracted during processing. This ratio of adipose tissue to fat may or may not be normal depending upon the age of the patient. The older the individual, the greater the proportion of adipocytes. Uh, secondly, the hematopoietic fraction consists of a variety of cell types that can be classified into three major lineages. First, the megakaryocyte lineage. These cells are easy to identify by their large size and irregularly shaped nuclei. These cells give rise to platelets. Secondly, the erythroid lineage that gives rise to erythrocytes or red blood cells. These occur as little islands and are distinguished by cells that have round, dark staining nuclei. These nuclei will be expelled from the cells in the final stages of erythrocyte development. And thirdly, the granulocytic lineage that gives rise to the neutrophils and other leukocytes. These are distributed diffusely in the bone marrow and can be distinguished by the irregular shape of their nuclei, which undergo lobulation as they mature. Now, by eye, examine the slide labeled HEME5. This is a needle biopsy of normal bone marrow. However, the preservation is not all that good. Examine this slide under low magnification. Observe the bony spicules, which are intensely eosinophilic. Also, identify the adipocytes, which appear as holes in the tissue. Assess the degree of cellularity by comparing the relative areas occupied by the hematopoietic tissue versus the empty space that had been occupied by the adipose tissue. In this section, the cellularity is approximately 90 to 95 percent, which is rather high. However, this may or may not be normal depending upon the age of the individual. Switch to higher power and examine the cellular composition, which is very heterogeneous. Although the preservation is rather poor, try to identify the three lineages of hematopoiesis. The megakaryocytes, which are the large cells with irregular multi-lobed nuclei that produce platelets. The erythroid lineage, which occurs in clusters with dark condensed nuclei and eosinophilic cytoplasm. And the granulocytic lineage, which is mainly the precursors of neutrophils that have irregularly shaped nuclei. The key feature here is the diversity of cell types. Now, leukemias can be classified as being either acute or chronic depending upon the nature of the malignant cell. Acute leukemias are derived from immature cells and they tend to progress rapidly, whereas chronic leukemias are derived from more mature, that is, more differentiated cells and progress less rapidly. Now in this laboratory you will be observing two examples of acute leukemias. By eye examine the slide labeled HEME4. This represents a bone marrow biopsy from a patient with acute leukemia.
note that one end consists of compact bone that stains eosinophilic. Under low power, assess the cellularity of the biopsy. This appears to be almost 99% throughout the length of the biopsy. The adipocytes are relatively small. Also, there is a tear in the tissue that should not be confused with an adipocyte. Here, the normal bone marrow is totally replaced by the leukemia cells. Examine the cells under higher power and observe their homogeneous nature. Also note that the tumor cells are widely distributed. The tumor cells are relatively small. The cells look immature because the nuclei are large and have multiple nucleoli, and this is indicative of acute leukemia. However, with just H&E staining, it is difficult to distinguish between myeloid and lymphoid leukemias. Immunostaining for markers is required for this discrimination. Examine the slide labeled Heme 6 by eye and observe that it contains a bone marrow biopsy from a patient with acute leukemia. Examine the slide under low power and observe that the cellularity of one end is fine with lots of adipose tissue, while the other end presents with a high degree of cellularity. Examine the end with the increased cellularity under higher power. Observe that there is an absence of normal bone marrow cells, which have been replaced by the malignant cells. The nuclei of the tumor cells have a notched appearance as indicated by the small arrows. This also indicates the homogeneous nature of the tumor cells that represent a monoclonal proliferation. Now this slide concludes the laboratory on the hematopoietic malignancies.